Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great, wonderful day, or is having a great, wonderful day. You can see me. Uh, I'm kind of recovering. My day's going, eh. He's in a little bit of pain. A little bit. Um, but I'd like to say that obviously everything went okay. And if you can avoid getting any kind of uh, soldier, shoulder <laughs> surgery, uh, do it. Avoid it. <laughs> Avoid it, because it, it's not fun at all. Take care of your shoulders. Ooh. His surgery actually went better than expected, and we really appreciate all the prayers and well wishes that we received from all of our viewers. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very, very much. Yeah, they went in there, and obviously, in the time of when it first got looked at, you know, it looked like it was just a small tear. And I ended up obviously tearing a little bit more, but they hopefully got me all fixed up and, you know, a few weeks from now, so it should hopefully be as, as good as new. A, a few thank, months but, from now, he'll be as good as new. But thank you again for, for everything. I really do appreciate it. It was, it was, it was kind of a little scary going in at first, but uh, everything turned out all right so far. We'd like to also say thank you for helping us hit 1,000 subscribers. Yes, thank you very much. We, we finally made that goal, which was woohoo, great, wonderful, and fantastic. We, we appreciate y'all following along and watching us and putting up with all our, of our nonsense, our rambling and our nonsense, and our, we get sidetracked a bit, and we do appreciate you very much. Today, though, we brought you along. We've got a few things we need to get put in the ground. It's it's 55 degrees and it's May. I'm loving the little cool weather we had come through last night. So that gives us the opportunity to come out here without sweating to death and getting a few things put in the ground. So we're gonna show you that today. Or I will. Yeah, I'm gonna stand and watch. So since Jeff is the gardener and I tend to kill stuff, he is going to talk me through how to not kill these when I put them in the ground. Okay, so this first one I've got, I got this from a really great guy there at work, Jacob. So if you're watching, I'm finally getting them in the ground. Pretty sure you already got yours in the ground a long time ago, but uh, he gave me uh, a couple of tomato plants and a jalapeno plant. This, uh, this first tomato plant is a mortgage riser, which kind of had a neat story. I think it was back in like 1940 or something. Some guy came up with designing a, his own tomato and I think sold them for like a dollar a piece back in the day. But then uh, I guess it's got its name because he sold enough of them to pay off his $6,000 mortgage he had. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, I can't remember how many tomatoes it was that he kind of like, you know, was I guess crossbreeding with until he came up with this. It was a, it was a few, but I thought it was pretty interesting that uh, he could sell enough of those back and back then to pay his mortgage off. So anyway, so Shauna's gonna, you know, dig a little hole, and then we like to just put a little bit of uh, like a little handful of some, you know, just dry rabbit poop. Uh, Works really great to, to start off with. More? You just need, you know, a little small handful, you know, of it. You just, you know, kind of ease out your, your plant there. And if the if the roots are really bunched up, you know, just kind of spread them apart. That one's not too bad. They're not all, you know, caved around it. And then just cover it up like normal. But we like to put a little bit of that, the rabbit poo in there. But make sure if you're using the rabbit poo that it's actually just a dried rabbit poo that hopefully that you haven't had really hitting the ground and, and getting all into the rabbit urine because that's some pretty potent killing paint stripping stuff. So we normally, you know, we, we've got a screen that we'd normally put underneath the cages to catch the poop and then let the, the urine go through the screen so that the, the poop would stay dry. Now the next one she's got that Jacob gave me is a what was it, a purple Cherokee? And it's supposed to be a really nice tomato, kind of sweet, looks pretty meaty, and it's like the size of your hand. I mean, it's, it's huge. So I'm really interested on to see if, out of both of these, if I can get, you know, a few tomatoes off of it so I can save the seeds for uh, most likely next year. So, and hopefully get a few tomatoes off of it as well. The rest of the stuff that we have here 
is the uh, our one Brandywine tomato, one Celebrity tomato, and we've got four of the Better Boy tomatoes, and these were the seeds that I actually had that sat around for a few years, and they actually sprouted up. We're just going to hope that they keep growing and produce fruit. We're going to find out. Now, there's a few things you can do. These are those little... We got these, you know, clearance little pots. Those are little cardboard pots. You can basically just take the whole pot and just stick it in the ground because, you know, it'll it'll rot or decompose in the ground and, and everything. So you can just stick the whole pot just straight into the ground and the roots will grow through it, you know, and it decomposes in the ground. So just stick the whole pot in. Because sometimes, depending on your soil that you put in them, if you don't pack them good enough, it'll just, you know, tear away all the soil that you got. So what I normally do is I just I just take the pot, stick it all on the ground, cover it all up. And I dig a hole. Nope. You're shaking your arm. Yep. So you can't dig a hole. <laughs> I feel kind of bad here always watching Shauna. Shauna's been a, such a great person. I'm pretty sure she's still pretty mad at me. She's, <laughs> she's getting ready and fed up with me already, so. Nope, never. I always feel bad just sitting here while she's just doing everything, so. It's all right. Y'all make sure y'all give special prayers and concerns for Shauna so she doesn't, you know, strangle me. And I think those will be prayers for you, hon. I have mentioned that I'm not a gardener, right? I've heard you say that once or twice before, but you're, you're getting better and better each time. So right here, we have a little row that we've started that we are going to plant some... Silver Queen Corn. Now, you've heard me talk about this channel before, MB Heritage Farms, and we had ordered this corn from them. Theirs does so well all the time. So this is, again, Silver Queen. And it's really nice because they put on here um, how many days to maturity, which is 92 to 110, full sun, and space on 6 to 8 inches. And you direct seed them so you don't have to do starts with these so I'm just gonna put a couple of these and yeah. then we'll probably put them in some other spots through around and we're planning on doing some more raised beds but there are these look at how beautiful the that seed color is so Mike and Bobby at MB Heritage Farms is where we ordered these and I will leave a link to their store down below and if I'm doing this wrong I'm pretty sure they will let me know <laughs> Two, three, four, five. We got five of them in there. Is that good enough, Jeff? So my potatoes are coming up. These are the ones we just planted. We've got the corn over here. Jeff doesn't think I did a good enough job covering, apparently. And here's the corn we had planted already with some of our peas. And then we've got our carrots coming up. And we, we need to get a little bit thinner string, but we had to get these peas starting to trellis up. But Jeff did a really neat little um, steak idea with these tractor tires. And let's come down here where I can show you better. Yeah, I thought it would work out pretty good just to be a little uh to give them good sturdiness is I just drill the hole right through the, the tire and then you stick this straight down there through it so it really holds it uh good and tight. I thought it was pretty decent. It works. Yeah. And our spinach is doing really well. So just a real quick surgery and garden update again i will leave the link to mb heritage their store in the description below i know that the corn is going to come up great we've got a couple other things we need to plant with them and we will bring you along for that another time we're getting a little late on some of these but yeah. if it grows it grows right well you know we started to try to get a jump on it and then everything else just kind of hit the fan uh jacob Thanks again for the plants that you gave me. Hopefully I can get them to grow and not die. And good luck with, of course, all yours. And thanks again for everybody out there 
with prayers and thoughts. I sure do appreciate it so, so very much. It, trust me, it's been helping. All right, so I am going to go back and sit down. I'm going to let Shauna finish up everything. I know, I'm a bad person, but I think she's hopefully going to give me an excuse that I can go do it. I wish she would just sit. I've been trying. Y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a great one. Can't wait to see y'all until next time. Later. Take care. Thank you.